bring up MATLAB here. Okay, so let's type in the transform from vehicle to world. It's a one zero zero five zero minus one zero 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 minus one one zero 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 one. Okay, then we had the um, oops the camera to vehicle was a zero zero one 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 zero 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 one zero minus two zero 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 one okay so we're going to need um, the well let me go back to here we're going to want to um, multiply our camera matrix intrinsic camera parameter matrix times the extrinsic camera parameter matrix times the point in world coordinates right and that's going to give us our point in image coordinates okay so we need to construct k k remember was um, f 0 0 cx 0 f c y 0 0 1 okay so here oops we have c x c y and we know f is 512 so let's go ahead and put that into MATLAB Okay, so K is going to be 512, 0, 256, 0, 512, 256, 0, 0, 1. Okay, then we have the um, external um, uh, camera parameter matrix, and that for that we're going to need the... Um, rotation from world to camera okay well I have the um, well I don't have that I have vehicle to world and camera to vehicle so let's construct um, let's construct camera to world by multiplying uh, vehicle to world times camera to vehicle okay then we can extract the rotation portion of that as the um, first upper 3 by 3 matrix there. So we actually want the world to camera and that's just going to be for a rotation matrix we can just take the inverse by doing that. Okay. So finally, we can do, construct an external camera parameter matrix. It's going to be the rotation from world to camera, and then minus the rotation from world to camera times the position of the camera in the world. And the position of the camera in the world is um, just looking at the transformation matrix above, it's the fourth column of HCW. So that's going to be the 6, 0, 3. Okay. So now I can go ahead and um, multiply these together. K times MEXT times PW. PW, I guess I didn't enter, but it's going to be a 16, 0, minus 1, 1. And now remember to divide through by that third element. So we get 
the final result, the x image coordinate is 256, the y image coordinate is 460, and then we have the homogeneous element 1. Okay, so that makes sense because, um, you know, we're, we're looking down at this point, so it's in the positive y direction. Um, it was straight in the middle of the image, so the x is 0, so, so that, that looks right. Okay, um, just to continue on, we're going to see weak perspective occasionally. Weak perspective is an approximation to full perspective projection. Uh, it's uh, also called scaled uh, orthographic projection. So we use this, we can use this if the average depth, average z to an object is much larger than the variation in depth within the object. So if that's true, we can replace the z of a point on the object with just a z average. So all the points on the object, we use the same z value, which is the average z of the objects. So in the matrix multiplication, instead of um, using a 1 here and a 0 here, we use a 0 here and the z average here. So essentially this wipes out this z entirely and uses the z average. So the benefit of this is that the image coordinates are a linear combination, linear function of the um, 3D coordinates x and y. Uh, to see where this is used, um, we can look at the case of tracking a small planar patch on an object. So if we can assume that the size of the patch is small compared to the distance, we get the weak perspective uh, assumption. If the rotation is small, we're going to use that small angle approximation that I discussed last time. And of course, we're going to treat the, plane, the patch as a planar patch. So if we can do all this, we can show that the patch, the transformation of that 2D image patch undergoes an affine transformation so recall that um, affine transformation is um, basically a rotation, shearing, and scaling, and also a translation. So every point in that patch undergoes this transformation.